Have you ever wanted to do a side hustle? Or do you even know what a side hustle is? Or maybe you just hate the term side hustle. And believe me, I never knew that until I heard that from somebody the other night. They thought it cheapened everything, which I totally understand that. But a side hustle is a side hustle. And I'll explain it in just a second. Hey, I am Mark Nelson. I am so glad you are here. I am, I am a soon-to-be-retired teacher. And I've been working on a side hustle or a side business or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, I've been working on things to replace my income so I can retire and live my life in dignity. I mean, not, not all people want to do that. or And I shouldn't even say that because they do want to live in dignity. But, you know, I want to travel. I want my wife and I own an RV and we live in the lake and we want to do some more of this. We want to travel all over the United States and we want to go have fun. I don't want to be ladled with not having enough money. And then... The second part of all this is that there are people just like me. Maybe it's you that want to do a side hustle but have no clue how to get started. Well, first of all, let me tell you what a side hustle is. See, as a teacher, there, there a lot of teachers will go into trying to make extra money. I think 25% of the teachers right now have a, do something to make a little extra money. A lot of them go on to what they call their teacherpreneur. Meaning what they do is they put their courses together or lesson plans or maybe some videos and they market them on a place called Teachers Pay Teachers. Extremely great place for teachers to go. The challenge is like everything else, you need to get people to see your stuff and to follow you till they buy your things. Now, I use things from Teachers Pay Teachers. You know, some are $1.50, some are free, some are $5.00. And shoot, because I teach math, I actually went in, our whole district went in and bought an Algebra 1, all our worksheets. And why do they do that? Because the lady who did it did such a great job that, you know, why reinvent the wheel? We just bought her worksheets and we use them. Now, how cool is that? So when I started looking at what can I do as a teacher, that kind of, well, I'm a math teacher. She just took away all my bread and butter. And she didn't because guess what? I can maybe make different worksheets or better worksheets. So what else can I do? You know, as a side hustle, you could be a network marketer. If you like to be around people, you know, if you like to talk to people, if you aren't afraid of going out and talking and selling to people you don't know, again, it's all based upon how many people you can speak to. In fact, I got into a network marketing and MLM and I was just told if I could go talk to a thousand people that I didn't know it could happen. Well, I soon found out, guess what? That's not for me. I, I just, I, I'm an introvert. Now I can talk to this microphone. I can talk to a, a camera for some reason or when I teach, I can talk there. But to talk to somebody I didn't know, I didn't like to do that. Now, on a phone call, I could, but not face-to-face. -face. Like, you know, I kind of felt dirty. That's just me. You know, I, <laughs> believe me, because there are so many, I know so many great network marketers. They're just unstinking believable what they do. So network marketing, I'm, and I'm telling you what I was kind of weed, weeding out as I'm going through this. Well, then there's affiliate marketing. I did do that. In fact, I still do that because there's some great products and services. And I do more of the services and the software programs I use, I'm affiliate for those because I believe in them so much, I use them. And then as I bring people on with me, and I'll get to what I do in a little bit, as I bring people on, help them in their business, I can show them the tools I use. So that's what I affiliate with. And that's there's some good money in there. There really is. I mean, I got started with a... Um, it was a lead generation system. It was, holy cow, it, we did really well. And then I started with a company called ClickFunnels, and I do well with that. Um, but again, that's affiliate marketing. Then there's what they call, a lot of people call infopreneur. It's what I'm doing right now on a podcast in a YouTube channel is I talk about different things. And because it, it's a little slower pace to make money because both of them require you to build an audience and get a following and then 
as you start building and growing and people like the value you're giving, that the key is that for, you have to give value. When you give a really good value, then people want to be around you and they want to see what you're doing. So then you can start making some more income on both these. And I'm just specifically talking podcasts and YouTube. There's many more ways to do info products, right? And then there's social media and a lot of influencers, Instagram influencers. Holy cow, some of those people make a ton of money. One, I don't wear a bikini very well. Two, I don't have abs. Three, I can't be an influencer on Instagram. I, I shouldn't say that. I can. I don't know if you saw it, dude. I, I am on TikTok, and there's a guy on TikTok who is older than I am that makes a ton of money. He just came out and started doing little TikTok videos about making money on TikTok, about making money online. And the guy is making a lot of money. Took him a while, but guess what? That's what he's doing. So then the another one that, and this is what I do. I am a course creator. I help people build businesses, right? So what I do is in my side hustle, I create courses and I market to people. You know, I have one out right now. What I call my core product is how to build a business how to launch and how to create and launch your business so it's a profitable business. And actually I show them how to do, build a course, right? How do they go through modules? How to put videos up, how to put PDFs, how to put whatever the people need and teach people step by step. But I'm very good at this because guess what? I'm a teacher, that's what we do. That's what we've done forever. Is taking people step by step you know, when you go to the math room, I just don't go, well, this is how we solve this problem. It, there's a a sequence to it. And that's a, what's so cool is because when I became a course creator and people say it's hard to do, it's hard to do. So I've been doing it all my life. And you can too. See, none of this is very challenging. You're just learning how you can do it. So I'm a course creator. Okay. And you can be too. You can be. If I go through these again, I think I, I better look at what I'm doing. All right. The first one is you can be an affiliate marketer. You can be a network marketer. You can be, you can sell info products, right? You can sell digital products. You can be, um, oh, what do they call Direct sales. That's what I meant. Direct sales is kind of like network marketing, but it really isn't. You can sell Amazon products. You can sell things on eBay. You can sell a lot of people do that. Like again, you know, you got to find something you have a passion for because when people see you when people find you they need to see that you have a passion for something they need to see that they can trust you because what you're teaching or what you're selling that you're the one that they want to do business with so how do you build a business online it's a great question all right pick one platform one platform i don't care what you're doing right you have to build you're going to build a business through uh, warm market and through cold markets. You on social media, right? You don't own social media, but you want to pick one platform, whether it's TikTok, maybe it's Instagram, maybe it's LinkedIn, maybe it's Pinterest, maybe it's Facebook, whichever market your crowd is at. If it's young, it's probably TikTok and Instagram. If it's mid 40s and their business people are probably in LinkedIn. If they're like me, they're probably on Facebook because that's where we got our start, all right? And to tell you the truth, I'm on all of them. But there's a lot of things you can do. Pick a platform and then pick what you want to do. Do you want to be a network marketer? Do you want to be in direct sales? Do you want to be an affiliate marketer? Do you want to do an info product? Do you want to do a podcast? I suggest you do a podcast. And if you need to know how to put one together, I can help with that. Do you want to do YouTube? Or do you want to build courses? That's what this is. I mean, there's a lot of other side hustles, you know, business opportunities, whatever you want to call them. There are a lot of them out there. In fact, I have here you go, a freebie with a list of a hundred. I don't even know how many it is. I have a list of side hustles you can use. I'll put the link in the description below. I also put a link in for the... Uh, I have a freebie on how to create an online course. I'll put it in the description. Hey, if you got value from this, I'd love it if you share it. I'd love if you subscribe. 
and love it, follow me. Y'all take care. We will talk again another day.